Today's video is about difference between tretinoin and hydroquinone. In this video we will discuss how both creams are different, their use, duration of use, and their possible side effects. Tretinoin comes with the brand Acretin, but other brands are also available. Whereas hydroquinone comes with the brand name of Hyquin, but other brands are also available for this. Acretin is a topical retinoid that is vitamin A derivative, whereas Hyquin is a skin lightening agent. Acretin is primarily used to treat acne, reduce fine lines, firming skin, and improve skin texture. Whereas Hyquin is mainly used to treat hyperpigmentation, such as melasma, age spots, photoaging, for whitening purpose, acne scarring, and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Acretin works by increases cell turnover and stimulates collagen production, helping to improve the overall appearance of the skin. Whereas Hyquin works by inhibits melanin production in the skin, leading to a lighter skin tone in areas of hyperpigmentation. Tretinoin are considered safe for long-term use, under medical supervision, whereas hydroquinone usage is typically limited to shorter duration, that is up to three months. Side effects for acretin include irritation, redness and peeling, whereas side effects for hyquin include skin irritation, redness. One of the most frequent question, that can acretin and hyquin be used together? The answer is yes, you can use hydroquinone and tretinoin simultaneously under a dermatologist's careful supervision. With the combined action of hydroquinone, lightening the dark spots, and tretinoin, promoting even skin regeneration, users can expect a more uniform skin tone over time. And also remember to use sunblock while going outside, as it can make the skin sensitive to sun. In short, Tretinoin is focused on improving skin texture, fine lines, wrinkles, and treating acne. While hydroquinone is used for reducing dark spots, age spots and hyperpigmentation. They can sometimes be used together for enhanced results, but it's important to consult a dermatologist for appropriate use and potential side effects. If you have any question or suggestion, just drop below, we will answer that.